physical therapist on the internet. Hi, folks. I'm Bob Schrupp, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical and therapist. We're the most famous physical therapist on it, the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. We're going to go over five r- rules that are you can't break them yeah. for arthritis pain. So we're going to start off with number one. If you have arthritis in a joint, mm-hmm. well, we'll use the knee as an example. Sure. You want to decrease the weight on that area, especially if it's flared up. Right. So, like, if you're going to use uh, a cane, that'll help take some of the weight off the area. Right. Not permanently, but just to, to, until it calms down a little right. bit. And just a quick side note, if it's your left knee, you're going to use your cane in your right hand. Uh, and we got some videos on how to properly use a cane. Now, if it's your shoulder, don't be leaning on your shoulder when you're working at a computer or right. anything like that. Right. You know, take some weight off of it. Number two. Keep it moving, but in a non-weight-bearing manner. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people say, oh, it hurts, so I should let it rest. Right. But that's not the way arthritis works. Arthritis actually creates, uh, if you get some movement, you get synovial fluid, which is uh, like uh, the grease for the joint. (laughs) Yeah, it's the lubricant in there, and it will help uh, settle things down. So you've got to work with it gently. Uh, at first, and take your time and get things moving, whether it's if your shoulder, you know, uh, or your knee, you might be just working it. Yeah, like you just going, bend and straighten it like yeah. 10 if, times. If it's this shoulder, I might take my good arm and use right. that to help move it up and down. All right, number three, uh, you want to make sure you keep it stretched out because if you're lacking motion, that will make the joint hurt worse. Mm-hmm. So if you're lacking you can't fully extend your knee. Let's say you only go to here. That's going to work a smaller area, and it's going to wear out the knee faster. Mm-hmm. So you want to make sure you actually take the time to work on stretching the knee into full extension. And this is something you might want to do like every every hour. Sure. You know, yep. just a little pressure on, pressure off, pressure on, pressure off. Same with bending it. Yep. Push now, on, and if off. it's not your knee or you want more details, just go to Bob and Brad and say uh, stretching for whichever joint, stretching for the shoulder, for the wrist, for the knee, and you'll see we have videos that will cover each joint in detail for a range of motion and stretching. Number four, also very important to keep the joint as strong as possible. Mm-hmm. So uh, one way, let's lose the knee again, is you can do isometric. So... With the knee, very simple. You can fold up a pillow like this. I'll get it yet, Brad. There you go. There we go. And I'm going to push the knee down to the bed, and I'm tightening the quadricep and yep. making it work. So hold for a count of 10, and then relax. Yep. And oftentimes, you don't have to go to the gym. You don't have to buy fancy equipment no. for this kind of strengthening. You can do things like this. Three um, sets of 10. Yep. Three times a week, and you're good. Yep. And again, we have complete videos right. on every joint in the body under Bob and Brad, and you will find uh, exercises you can do at home. Number five, this may be a little unusual, people. Um, you want to make sure you eat right. Mm. There's anti inflammatory foods. We had a lady on who had trouble with our root ar- uh, arthritis, right? Rheumatoid? Rheumatoid, yep. right. Mm-hmm. And she helped combat it just by changing her diet. Oh, you're talking about Jody. Yeah. Yeah, she was fighting. She did not tolerate the meds. The meds right. were not going well with her. Uh, she's getting kind of mad at her doctor, actually. Right, she was. Uh, and she did some uh, research on diet, and she found she could get off of her meds uh, and control things by her diet. And a lot of it and was just... And then she lost weight, too. Oh, yeah, it's a, it a double win. Yeah. yeah. So the big thing is sugars. You know? Right. Get away from Inflammatory. that. Inflammatory. Yeah, all these yep. uh, foods that are in the center that are highly processed, a lot well, of sugar. refined carbura- carbohydrates, yeah. Um, yeah. too much bread, Yes. too much pasta. Yeah, yeah pasta. So. All those things that, uh, you know, a lot of people are now aware Aware, of. yes, they yeah, are. Yeah. It's still not easy if you're used to eating. Like, I know she had a real problem stop eating pasta. Oh, and, yeah, me too. Yeah, people really like it. So, uh, you know, for yeah. me, it's chocolate. I, if sure. I have it in the house, it's going here. I mean it. So <laughs> it's, I, going just, the, it's going to the pie. Don't get it. <laughs> so, all right. 
That's uh, five quick rules. Uh, make sure you follow them, and your arthritis pain will go down. That's right. So very good. Which is good. good. Yeah. It will go down, it's good that which it's is good. Going down. This is really, that was a good one, Bob. All right. Yeah. <laughs> People are hilariously laughing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>